Yeah, so it's a daily walk and talk. Down here to serve, do what it do. Go ahead and hit that like if you like. Go ahead and hit that subscribe if you subscribe. You know, we on the global tribe. <laughs> but uh nah man. I wanna share a couple pearls of wisdom that I have today that I've acquired from experience. And the first one, and this is gonna sound very redundant because I'm sure you've heard it a billion trillion times. But you have not heard it from me. So it's that new new. So here it is. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Street Smarts lesson one of Street Smarts class 101. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Because uh, that's what we learn from. You know, if, if here's the trick to super successful people. Super successful people are very active. They're always doing something. Always. Never find an excuse to not act, to not do, to not be. Because, like, why put off for tomorrow what we can do today? And uh, there is no downtime, you know? If you want to make downtime, it's really not downtime. Because even if you're watching Netflix, okay? Like, you tune into it because you want to laugh. But while you tune into a comedy special wanting to learn to laugh, you're hearing about current events that's going on in the news, real things. That's knowledge building. <clears throat> you're also learning how people take current events and turn them into a lucrative, equitable stream of income. Uh, by taking what's going on in the world today, our surroundings, things that people can relate to, rehashing it, putting our own, you know, juju on it or whatever, putting our own vibes on it, and selling that shit to the world, you know? I'm not a master comedian. I don't claim to be. That's not even my passion, you know? Have I ever done comedy? Sure. A little. I've never stood up on stage and done comedy, but I, yeah, I have. I've dabble with little scripts and stuff i was captain popular <laughs> in middle school uh because of my comedy talents i mean i wasn't the greatest but i was the greatest in my school because nobody else was even attempting it you know i was a little ahead of my time uh <clears throat> but yeah so don't be afraid to make mistakes because even like uh michael jordan Profess. He, he, what this loud motherfucker? Drive on down. He's got to get bread too. But uh, yeah. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. Michael Jordan professed. You know, it's a thousand time mark practice. Uh, golden status, if you will. You know, like the more times you do something, the greater you get at it, the better you are at it the more notable it is, you know? So, this is the second go nugget of pearl of wisdom I'm gonna share with you all. Do not be afraid to put walls down where you have built them up because you've been harmed or you know, there's harm has come, whether intentional or unintentional, maybe it's coincidental, whatever. Probably not. Because nothing's truly coincidence in the world. Nothing's nothing happens in God's world by mistake. We have free will, there's people serving the devil, there's people serving God. Things happen. Yes they do. They happen. So <clears throat> I'm gonna practice what I preach and uh, I'm gonna give love a second chance. I've never given love a second chance at all you know i had my one go with it and 
It didn't work out. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, the way I had expected it to. I, see, I had expectations. I had high demands and expectations of the way things would turn out. And that's not how the universe and life works. It don't work that way, sweetie. It don't. So, my moves presently and my moves, uh, well, that's all we got really is a presence, but presence becomes past and we go forward in the future. But anyway, really presence is all we have. So today I make a choice because I have free will. I choose to not uh, hold back when I see that one individual that, you know, struck me so hard with uh, blunt, brutal force of love. You know? So that's who I miss. You know, I miss I miss that that anointed heart that I felt, you know. I, I've never felt love so divine in my life. And uh <clears throat> I didn't give her a chance. You know, I, I really loved the feeling of it and uh you know I, it kinda made me dumbfound really and shocked a little bit that for one, she's a doppelganger of me, but a female, and we're both really thin in, but, she, you know, I'm a lot bigger now than what I was. I'm not fat, but, yeah, I mean, I'm a lot bigger than what I was, but uh, <clears throat> she's my doppelganger, and she's my twin flame. I don't like the term doppelganger, but she's my twin flame, and I love her, and I want to see her again, so I'm going to be loud, 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 loud. I'm gonna live, 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 and be loud, 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 because I want her to come to me. I want her to come to me. I'm not going chasing her down. I don't know if she's somewhere, and I'm gonna go find her. No, no, that's not what it is. But I'm gonna go places where people do loud things, because I've always been kind of a loud guy. I'm a magician, you know. I'm a, I'm a true magician, Jim, and I'm king of cups, king of wands, king of swords, king of pinnacles, you know, all these things, I show up as all of them at times, and, uh, so, you know, I've got this golden touch, this, uh, Midas touch, so to speak, everything I put effort into becomes gold, it becomes gold, and that's a very powerful skill, and, you know, the first time I learned that, I was working at Dairy Queen as a little soft serve guy, you know, soft serve boy, where, where you want to call it, but. That little store went from uh, about, oh, I don't know, 500,000 a year to uh, 1.4 million a year. I stayed there for two or three years, and every year we averaged about that. Uh, boom in business, you know? And that taught me, because my manager let me know how rare that was. It was a new store, but she let me know how odd it was that I came in and things went from, uh, you know, so, 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 so to, whoosh, you know, elevate. Uh, and I started paying attention to that fact. Wow, I do sell a lot of ice cream. Wow, you know, these people do want me to handle my ice cream. Kind of like that right there. See that line? Look at that line. Because I talk about these things. And look at all these lines. These lines here. You see the people? They're not really doing nothing right now. Some of them are just enjoying their talk time or whatever, you know. Okay. Do that. But best believe I never went anything half-hearted. If I'm going to go at it, I'm going at it. You feel me? So <clears throat> that's cool. I'm glad uh, I got to let you know right from the get-go, them two golden nuggets of truth. Uh, yeah. So how do you... Uh, do things like that if you're not blessed with uh, being a king all across the board or as I show up a queen I, I don't know why I do it's weird but uh, I find divine masculine women I guess I don't understand it. I don't like being told what to do really it kind of pisses me off really but, I mean 
I do have a pattern. That's <laughs> maybe that's something to look at. I don't know. But either way, it really doesn't matter. You know, I'm a rising Capricorn, and Greek theology kind of wins out from my point of view and from what I see, you know, the in the world, cause and effect. You know, you got the Egyptian uh, pantheology or pantheon, pantheon, and uh, you know, raw is true too. Raw is real, but that's what I think of God as is raw. Avon Raw, but uh, I think of Dibby Gods and things like that as Greek. But, uh, you know, I'm rising Capricorn. I'm known as a Gemini, but, you know, if you really watch me and watch my moves and follow my vibrations and stuff, I very much so do shine like Capricorn. And that's the rising sun. The rising sun is more about like what, what the world how we are relationship with the world and how we move in our relationship with the world and that's with Capricorn, you know, that's what I tap into and that is reason being said is uh, thought of to be uh, a goddess, a demigoddess uh, some would say demoness, I guess, but uh, uh, Baphne uh, she had the ability to walk in the underworld and the living world, therefore, uh, Satan gave her extraordinary gifts and uh, keys to the world that others didn't have. So whatever, it is what it is. You know, Capricorn kind of shows up as devil energy and stuff too. But you know, I am not a devil worshiper, so don't take me for that. Uh, I don't worship the devil at all. But I do spiritual things, and I do pray, and I do cleanse my soul and my spirit, and I do pray to God, I do. And uh, I do believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe he died on the cross for my sins, and I believe in all things, I do. But, you know, he ain't gonna go walk down here and get this coffee for me, you know what I mean? I gotta do that, so I'll see y'all later.